wanna be free of this heart. Yeah. Wanna feel your arms around me. You guys, we're making a fun recipe today. I am running solo, so I'm gonna make something quick and easy, but very delicious. I'm gonna try making the Japanese fruit sandal. Sandal is just another fun way of saying sandwich. It's going to be two pillowy white pieces of bread with thick uh, whipped cream and some fruit in the middle. And the way we're gonna cut it is gonna put the fruit on display and look amazing. So let's get started. The first thing we need to do is make our whipped cream. So we need some cold heavy whipping cream. Add five teaspoons of sugar. I'm doing five heaping teaspoons because I want this to be sweet. Okay, so we're going to just mix it up on high for a couple minutes so it's just really thick and creamy and frothy. The whipped cream is all set and done. And now we're ready to, ooh! I just put whipped cream all over my floor and all over my counter. Good times. Okay, so the first thing we need is some fluffy white bread. So it's recommended that you go and get the Japanese milk bread. I didn't have access to that, so I just got myself some Texas toast, a little bit thicker than normal white bread because you want it to be that extra fluffy. And then we're going to put a heaping amount of the whipped cream that we just made. So now is the fun part. So just pick whatever fruit you want. You wanna make sure that you wash it and that you pat it dry so that it's not wet and doesn't make your whipped cream flatten. So today I'm using strawberries, raspberries, and Bing cherries. And you wanna make sure that you choose fruit that are the same size because when you cut it, you don't want one that's giant and one that's um, small. Okay, so I'm gonna lay them right down like this. And then we're going to finish it off with another big dollop of whipped cream right on top. Final step, we're gonna put the other piece of bread right on top. So we're gonna wrap up each sandwich in saran wrap and we're gonna stick it in the fridge. We're gonna mark exactly where our fruit is, which is why it's very important to remember where your fruit was laid out. And I didn't pay attention to that. Oh no. Mark it so that I know exactly where to cut it. Into the fridge, see you in an hour. Let's take a bite. It is good. And I think that whatever combination of fruits that you use, it's gonna be even better because it's to your taste. But I get why people are really crazy about this. The bread is soft and fluffy. The whipped cream is like a cloud. And then you've got fruit in there and it's great with the bread. I've never thought that just a white piece of bread would be great as a dessert, but it actually holds everything together and kind of mellows out some of that fruit and some of that whipped cream, even though I want it sweeter. It's actually really good, super easy, and it'll be really fun to do it with your kids. And join Gina and I again next week when we share another recipe that we found and think will be really fun to make with you guys. Bye.